Hello everybody. Today I'm going to demonstrate a tally box that um, interfaces with um, all ATEMs. And this one's kind of molded around the ATEM Mini. And um, just very briefly in here, I've just got a, uh, a Mini with a, uh, a four-way quad split. You get, about, get them for about a hundred bucks. And then that's going out to a monitor. It's a nine inch monitor. And then the program feed is showing on this monitor. And this is um, a tally box. This comes in a couple of different varieties. This is the very, very basic unit where it provides, it has um, eight tallies, which can be, every one can be totally configured. And here I, you can see I'm just running it. Uh, it's got a nine pin out here where you get eight tallies plus a, a plus or a ground, depending on the switch position. Uh, and then it's just got network in, and of course the um, the ATEM has network out, um, so that goes into your um, your router switcher. Um, now these also you can get them in um, PoE, power Ethernet, so you only need to have one uh, network cable, and that brings power in as well. Um, but that will be all in the detail uh, details on the, the product when I get it uploaded. And as you can see here, oh, I've got I've got a little um, uh, LED strip here. I've got four LEDs for program, and this is this is programmed for program and preview. Four LEDs for program, four LEDs for preview. And um, as I uh, I'm on auto here now, and as I do a, a transition, you'll see the LEDs change between program to this. One, two, three, and four. So you can see one, two, three, and four, and then you can see the preview um, changing as well. I'll show you that on the software control panel, and um, which is just over here. And um, up here, you can see there's a software control panel. And um, and as I um, get my cursor up there. Uh, I can change the preview buttons here and then if I pan over to here you'll see the LEDs changing as I don't know if you can see that anyhow they're um they're changing the previews which is the, the buttons five to eight and then the program buttons over here one to four so the the whole concept of this is to give you the the, the ability to be able to have actual tallies on cameras for your um, <clears throat> for your ATEM uh, Mini. But this tally box can also be used for all ATEMs and it just depends on how you, <coughs> you configure it. And um, here's an example. Um, this diagram we um, posted with this product description. So you can actually set it so all eight relays are all programs and that can be any program, any program um, source um, that's available as an input. And when I mean when I say that, it's got to have a connector. So if it's a media player one or color bars or super store, su um, super source, they're not inputs. They're they're actual built in. They're built into the ATEM. So anything that's got a connector, like a camera in, they all come with tallies. So you can you can program all eight relays to be all program you can program to be just all preview and here's an added bonus you can also program any of the ox buses to be, to have tallies as well uh, i'll show you that later on as well but that's good for for providing iso tallies to cameramen um, who are being iso recorded <clears throat> on a hyperdeck or something like that now you can also have a mixture you can have some relays on program and some relays on preview and that's the way I've got the mini running at the moment, it's got relays one to four on program one to four, relays five to eight on preview one to four, uh, and you can do the same with uh, program or preview and ox. So you can have some relays allocated to program and um, ox, and then here's a here's another example where you can have a whole bunch of you can have some relays and they don't have to be in any order or anything. You just tell it what that particular relay one to eight will do and what it will respond to. And to program those relays, it's um, all done through 
uh, an Ethernet connection, and which is this box over here. And um, well, in normal operational mode, you can see. Let me just move this over here so we can do it. In normal operation mode, while you're controlling the switcher, it's actually displaying. You can see I'm changing the camera it puts there, and it's just showing you the different sources. And this will show you all sources, so it's not showing you the tally. It's actually showing you the source. So I can go to color one, two, or color one, ME two, media players. You can show it shows you all those all those items and it shows you on the preview bus as well and you can see it also over here it's showing you the aux buses so if i actually go this is on a this is on a uh, an atm2 me let's say if i go to <clears throat> this is aux one and you can see over here if i go to aux one and start changing the source you see it's showing you <clears throat> there's me play one it's showing the current source <clears throat> Subsequently, this shows you all six aux buses that this ATEM um, has for you. Um, so, <clears throat> we, if we want to change um, the, the tallies, first of all, we can just type in the letter uh, S for status. And this just gives you all the information that you would normally need if you need tech support or if you need to find out things. You can see this particular um tally unit has got um uh all programs allocated to it so one to eight tallies um so i can actually go into if i just type in um capital c for configuration and um i can now go in and change different items so i just scroll down to so you can set the ips of um of the uh, lo local relay uh, tally box and the ATEM and then here's the tally allocations you can also um, select which tally uh, uh, which aux bus is going to provide you the tally so you can have aux of under six on this particular mixer um, and so in tally allocation I can then just right click and now these are the eight relays you can see relay three four five six seven eight so they're all the eight they're the eight relays as I select each relay you probably hear the the tally clicking I'll, I'll talk to you about that in a moment so in here I can actually say um, okay so I want uh, tally relay one to, to trigger on um, the first input of my ATEM which is computer input uh, and then I can then allocate each to the these you can see I can scroll up and scroll down so if I leave that it lays on the first four inputs now if I go over to tally four I can actually just press the space bar and it'll go over to the preview bus and then I can change um, that to be um, any one of the um, any one of the inputs but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to aux bus so I'm going to make tally relay five uh, an aux bus camera one I'm going to go tally relay um, six to be camera two Tally relay seven to be camera three, and then tally relay four to be on aux bus one camera. I can't remember what the last one was. Three, yeah. So this will be camera four. So if I just scroll back, you'll see one, two, three, four, and then five to eight are aux bus relays. So, um, so before I actually show you all that working, I just had to explain to you the actual um, tally box that I'm using here. This is a slightly different one. This is the fully optioned one. And this unit actually has eight relays, actual functioning relays with contact closures. It also has the nine pin, which is in the standard um, no frills one. But this one here has got eight um, relays. And, um, and also the eight contact or eight um, pin closures and it's also got the eight LEDs on the top here so um, as I as I scroll through let me just come out of this here um, okay so as I go through the I'm just going to use the ATM over here and I'm just going to go through here and you'll see 
um, there's Tally Relay 1, Tally Relay 2, Tally Relay 3, Tally Relay 4. And I'll click on uh, inputs um, 5, 6, 7, 8, and see nothing has been allocated though, so you don't get a Tally Relay even though it's doing the switching. You can see up here, you can actually hear the, the relays click. So you can hear the relays clicking there. Now here's, here's the great little trick. If I actually go out to Oxbus now, and um, you can see up here, Oxbus, I go to the four inputs. Oh, where is it there? You can now actually see these contact closures uh, or relays. Um, these are the five to eight relays. And um, oh, I'm looking at the wrong one, I'm over here. So as I click through these ox buses, you'll see they're changing as well. So I've allocated relay eight, which is, or well, tally eight, which is this one here, to, um, to be ox bus one in camera four. And there it is there. So that way there you get full um, tally control or tally indication of any of the ox buses and that um, uh, if I go up over, back over to our status screen here again, if I just press S for status, you'll now see these are the allocations that I made. You've got um, you've got um, the first four um, uh, the first four inputs of the ATEM, and then I've got the OXs, OX bus one set to tallies one, two, three, and four. So that's a, that's a, a quick. Um, a very quick explanation of the tally unit and as I said this was this was primarily designed to work for the ATEM Mini and give provide you with these um, program and preview tallies. Now as far as um, the actual hardware is concerned as I said this box here has got eight relays you can get the unit which is four relays if you only want four keep, keep the price down they all have their this um, nine pin connector now that they they use what we call ttl um, logic so it's just a logic uh, to ground to indicate your tally so you can run that into a um, um, a, a wireless tally system if you want and in fact i've got one here that i've been working on um, which is this one here and it is uh, you can interface into the remote control using the, the TTL connection that comes out of the back of the box and that can then be used to trigger um, using TTL to trigger your tallies wirelessly. Um, so um, I've got a good deal going on these at the moment. Um, I, you'll see more about that when you log on to the website. And, um, and that's um, it for me. I'll just quickly explain this while I go, while I'm leaving. This is a, an added interface that I'm going to make as I, um, uh, to be able to do, uh, set, do all the setups. And this just plugs in using a little, little DIN connector here. Um, but there'll be another video and all that. Thank you for watching.